Bienvenidos otra vez. Welcome. In this uh, video, uh, basically we are going to give you a demo using Jupyter Notebook. And as I have mentioned before, these Jupyter Notebooks uh, will be available in the Gurobi website. And what we are going to do in this demo is we are going to take the, the RAP problem, considering the, the budget constraints, but now we are going to generate arbitrarily large uh, uh, problems in such a way that you can see the power of optimization respect to, to simple heuristics. So uh, let's move to the new part uh, that we are adding to this problem. The, um, we are going to generate a sample uh, random scenario. Uh, uh, where, where you can arbitrarily uh, generate uh, large, large uh, uh, scale problems. So we define a function that we call generate scenario and the arguments of this function are going to be the number of resources that you want to have. In this particular uh, scenario that we are going to generate, we will have 100 resources and we will have 100 uh, jobs. Um, and also we are, we are defining certain parameters to to randomly uh, generate matching scores and, and um, also the, the fixed cost of allocating a resource to a variable. So uh, to really understand the, the, the details of, of, of this Jupyter notebook, you really need to, to know Python. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to assume that and, and go quickly. And as I mentioned, you should be able to access this Jupyter notebook and, and play with it. Uh, uh, this will be accessible in our website. So uh, we are using these libraries here. And the first thing that uh, we are going to, to do is to define different classes of jobs. So we will have six classes of jobs. One job type will be architect. Another job type will, is going to be backend engineer. Another job type is going to be front end engineer. Another job type is going to be tester. The other job type is data scientist. And the last uh, job type is going to be data engineer. So when we are generating these 100 jobs, we randomly are going to, to choose one of these requirements uh, to generate the type of job that we want to fill. And um, when, we, when we generate the resources, we are going to use a library of actual names. Well, they, they are not real names. We are going to generate random names that are in this uh, library, such a way that it looks more realistic. And so when we, when we generate uh, the matching scores, essentially the matching score, we are going to, to, to use a normal distribution. And, but this normal distribution is going to be cut. So the minimum value of the random uh, of the normal uh, of the matching score is going to be zero, and the maximum value is going to be 100. But the distribution um, will be based on the uh, normal uh, distribution. And to generate the cost of assigning a resource to a job, we are going to use uh, a, 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 f a distribution that is called Benford distribution. And the idea in this Benford dis distribution, since, since this reflects uh, the cost of assigning resources to job, uh, the idea in the Benford distribution is that you will get lower values of uh, numbers uh, of the cost uh, with higher probability. So for example, uh, the probability of um, getting a cost of $1,000 will be higher than the probability of getting an assignment cost of $2,000. And similarly, the probability of getting a cost of uh, $2,000 is going to be higher than the probability of having a cost of $3,000. So, and, and this uh, Benford uh, uh, probability distribution is, is well known in the data scientist world. So essentially, to generate um, uh, the matching scores and the, assign, uh, the cost of assigning a resource, we are using this uh, 
function that we call generate scenarios. And since our problem is going to have a budget, at this point we say that our budget is $300,000. And the simple uh, heuristic that we are going to use is, uh, we call it the greedy heuristic, where uh, we are going to choose the, this greedy heuristic, choose the best matching scores, eliminate uh, uh, the, uh, the, the rows and the columns associated with the resources and, and, and jobs that are not in the, in, in, in the matching and then it will uh, consume the cost of assigning that resource to a job and uh, reduce the, the budget. And we go to the next iteration and, and then we check, do we have budget? Yes. Do we have any matching scores that we can allocate? Yes. Continue. Choose the best matching score and eliminate uh, the matching scores of resources and jobs that are not in this particular assignment and consume the cost of assigning this resource to, to a job. And continue in this process until you deplete the budget or you don't have any matching scores to, to assign. So that's the idea of the greedy uh, solution. So, um, um, to define the, the, the MIP model, and, and here is going to be defined in a very simple way. Uh, we, remember, we use the adverse method to define the assignment variables, and we require the assignment variables to be binary, otherwise uh, we don't get the, the binary solutions as, as we want. We also have gap, because it is possible, because of the budget that we cannot assign uh, uh, all the jobs to, to the resources that, that, that we have. And also we will have uh, the job constraints with the gap variable allowing to not fulfill one of the jobs. The, we also have the resource uh, constraint variables define it exactly as before. We have the budget constraint define it exactly as we did it before. And the set objective method will define uh, the objective function value that considers the summation of all the possible combinations of, um, uh, match of uh, matching scores and it will penalize uh, any gap that we can generate. And we are telling Gurobi that the sense of optimization is to maximize. So uh, let's solve this problem with the $300,000 constraint. And remember, we have 100 jobs and 100 uh, resources. And we say if we want to explore all the possible assignments that you have with this 100, uh, if we want to enumerate all the possible combinations, Remember, this was an astronomical number, so that enumeration is really impossible to do. Uh, but see, with Gurobi, uh, we can solve it. And we use the, the, the heuristic to show that uh, the, the problem uh, can be solved very quickly. And here I need to do something. And then generated again. Um, so let me let, let, let me solve it this this problem. So uh, Gurobi is doing uh, this this Jupyter notebook is doing two things. It's solving the the is using the heuristic to find an assignment and try to uh, optimize the total matching score. So when you, we use the greedy heuristic, we were able to assign 88 resources and the total matching score was 7,588 and we consume all the budget. And the, when, we, when we use the Gurobi optimization, see, here we are this, uh, printing all the, possible, all, all the assignments that the, the Gurobi optimizer finds. So we were able to assign 100 re, uh, resources to the 100 jobs and the total matching score is 8,468. So let's compare uh, 
the solution that we get with the greedy algorithm and the solution that we get using the Gurovi optimizer. So we have a KPI that we call the assignment ratio. So this assignment uh, ratio will take the number of assignments that we were able to find using the greedy algorithm divided by the number of assignments that we get by using the Gurovi optimizer. So if the heuristic is optimal, it, it, it will be able to find the same number of assignments. So when the greedy heuristic is optimal, this number should be 100%. And as you see, the assignment ratio is 88%. So the, this heuristic is 12% uh, worse in terms of assignment than the, than the, the Gurovi optimization method. And similarly for the total matching score, we have this ratio where in the numerator we have the total matching score that you will get with the greedy solution and in the denominator you have the optimal matching score. So when the greedy uh, heuristic is optimal, yeah, this, no, this ratio should be equal to, to 100. So in this particular case, it wasn't that bad. So you, you, you get 89% um, the, the greedy heuristic. So let's, let's, uh, let's uh, do the following now. What we are going to do is to reduce the budget to half. So instead of having $3,000, uh, we are going to have $150,000 and we are going to solve it again. And now the problem is more difficult to solve because we have less budget. So uh, traversing to the combinatorial space is going to be more difficult and the greedy heuristic is really myopic. So let's see what is happening with our KPIs, uh, key performance in indices. So see, the assignment ratio is now 44%, less than a half of the assignments that we can get with the greedy heuristic and uh, with, with the optimization problem. So with, with, with this budget, which is half, we are able to satisfy all the, uh, we, all the jobs that we have generated and the matching score is less than half as bad as, as, as uh, um, it's, 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 it's less than half as the value of the optimal matching score obtained by the Gurobi optimizer. And, and you can play with this Jupyter notebook and, and play with different values of, of, of the Jupyter notebook and you will see how, um, as you make the, the budget tighter, uh, you will get uh, uh, bad solutions. Um, uh, so, uh, just very quickly, let me talk a little bit about the log. So, because in the log, uh, Gurobi is giving us uh, um, information about uh, what um, uh, uh, what has happened behind the scenes. But let let, let, let me solve another problem because the, the other problem uh, is more interesting in, in in terms of what Gurobi has done. So let's assume that uh, the budget now is uh, two hundred thousand dollars. And I, I will explain the log of this problem uh, for, for that particular budget. So see how quickly. So in a way, if you see, Gurobi is taking less time than the greedy heuristic to solve this problem. Uh, Gurobi is taking less than a second to solve this combinatorial problem that if, if you try to use complete enumeration, you won't be able to solve it, in, in, <laughs> even taking the lifetime of the universe. So let, let, let me explain this log. So here in this column, uh, this table is giving you information about what is happening with the branch unbound. So here in this first column, uh, Gurobi will explain you what is happening at each of the nodes that um, the branch unbound explored. Node zero is the root node. So uh, what has happened is Gurobi has been able to solve this problem at the root node. Why? Because Gurobi combined branch unbound with the cutting planes. And as a matter of fact, <laughs> with the cutting planes method, Gurobi has been able to um, uh, optimize the problem. 
So Gurobi is using different type of cutting planes. The cutting planes that uh, I explained were the Gomori cuts, but there are other cuts that they behave in the similar way. So he's using this type of cuts. And then uh, let me explain you a, a little bit about the bounds that Gurobi is using. The incumbent uh, column, basically this is the value of the objective function uh, of the best integral solution of uh, 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 the objective function of the best integral solution. And the best bound is the um, upper bound on the integral solution of the problem. And this gap basically is the ratio of how close are you from the optimal solution. So at the beginning, the first report, uh, Gurobi was very far from the optimal solution. So he was 188% far from optimality. But then very quickly, it reduced the gap to 5%, uh, to 0.05%, and then it reduces to 0.04%. Uh, and at the end, Gurobi, by adding these cuts, is able to have no gap and solve this, this, this problem. So I hope that I have been able to convince that by using MIP technology, you can solve problems that if you use a simple heuristic, you will get uh, solutions that are not that, that, that good and you can solve it very efficiently. So um, this, uh, this is the last video that we are going to discuss, technical things. Uh, in the last video, uh, the, I, I'm going to uh, give a summary of what we have covered throughout this uh, video series. So, see you next time, and thank you for joining. Hasta la vista. <laughs>